In today's modern household, it seems like everything is connected to the internet. And most of these smart devices operate wirelessly, connecting to a router located in your home. Your router takes your single internet connection and shares it with all these devices. This is called your home network. Many times, when we experience problems like dropped connections, slow speeds, distorted pictures, or buffering video streams, we tend to believe it is our internet connection. Here are some easy steps you can take to troubleshoot your internet and optimize your connection. No internet connection? Check for outages. If you cannot get onto the internet at all, you should first check to see if there are any outages in your area by signing into our mobile care app or support site from your mobile device. Using either platform, you will be able to check for outages in your area. If there are no outages, then you may have to power cycle your modem and router. Note, some of our customers will have a separate modem and router, while others can have both built into a single piece of equipment. To power cycle your modem or combination unit, unplug the power cord from the back of your modem and check to see that the lights shut off. If the lights do not shut off right away, it means your modem may have a backup battery that you should remove as well. Once the lights shut off, wait 30 seconds and plug the power cord back in. Now, if you have a separate router, go through the same process with that unit. Unplug the power cord from the back of the router, check to see that the lights shut off, wait 30 seconds and reconnect. Most of the time, this should be enough to resolve your issue. If it doesn't, repeat the power cycle process with a few added steps. First, unplug the power cords from the back of your router and modem. If your modem has a backup battery, remove that as well. Now, unscrew the coaxial cord from the back of the modem. After waiting 30 seconds, reconnect the coaxial cord to the back of your modem. Next, connect the modem's power cord and backup battery, if you have one. Then, connect the ethernet cable from your modem directly to your computer. It may take five to 10 minutes for your modem to fully come back online. Some modems may have up to four lights, some solid and some blinking, that signify power, downstream, upstream, and online. Check to see if all lights have come back on and everything is working properly with a direct connection. Slow internet connection? If you can get onto the internet but are experiencing a latency or inconsistent connection, follow these steps to work through the issue. Try navigating to multiple websites using different devices to ensure the problem isn't with a specific device or website. If the response time improves on a different device or website, this most likely means the issue is with a particular device or website and not an issue with your internet connection. There may be other factors to consider as well. For instance, if you're streaming video or music and you have an excessive number of tabs open in your browser, that can slow things down. Close those tabs and try switching to a direct wired connection, if possible, for the fastest speeds. If you've tried these steps so far and are still noticing the same latency from multiple devices and websites, try to power cycle your modem as we walked through earlier. You can also send a reset signal to your modem from the troubleshooter on our mobile app or support site. Once you log into the app, select Service Support from the homepage. On the next screen, select Troubleshoot Internet. To log on to Mediacom support site, go to support.mediacomcable.com. On the main dashboard, you will see a listing of all of your services. Click on Troubleshoot under the Internet tab. Select Get Started. Now, select your device from the drop-down menu and click Continue. This will check your signal levels and you can send a reset signal to your modem if necessary. If you've tried these steps so far and are still noticing the same latency from multiple devices and websites, try running a speed test. If your router and modem are separate, ensure that you are bypassing your router by having the modem plugged directly into your computer. This will ensure that you get the most accurate reading. Go to speedtest.mediacomtoday.com and click the Go button. If you continue to experience an inconsistent connection, try moving the modem and router to another cable outlet if available, preferably one closest to the main cable line. Ensure all cable connections are tight to any splitters or wall connections. If you notice your connection has improved, the issue may be with a particular outlet. 
The issue may also lie with your wireless router and require a review of your Wi-Fi network settings. To learn more about how to optimize your home network, check out our video here. If you need further assistance, you can contact us by sending a text to 66554 or logging into support.mediacomcable.com. At Mediacom, we are committed to making sure you get the best internet connection possible. Thank you for being a Mediacom customer and for your trust in Mediacom to keep you connected.